Okay, so we've selected this UV shell. We just right click, go to shell, and click on this UV. And now I just want to drag this across here. Now, don't worry too much about what's happening on our object. In fact, I'm just going to go like this, right? Because we can actually work a lot from here. I don't necessarily need to uh, keep previewing. It's a good thing sometimes to preview the 3D object, but sometimes as you're working on this, it gets confusing if you do that. I'm going to go to edge now, and I'm going to unclick that, unclick off of what I was just on in shell there, and I'm just going to mouse over these edges. So as you'll see, this edge, which is highlighted in red, corresponds with this edge, which is hi also highlighted in red. And when I highlight one, the other is highlighted. This means that these edges are supposed to be connected. Now, inevitably, when you're UV texturing something, there's almost always, if not always, going to be a seam. You just have to decide where to strategically put the seam, right? We could choose to put that at the back of the head, right? So we would have, we would have a gap uh, or some sort of seam there, which would be hidden by the hair. We could also choose to do it on the side of the head here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out with this centerpiece here, right? And now I'm going to choose shell, and I'm going to go and drag these guys over. So first, let's see where this matches up. So we're, we're putting this, we're approximating uh, where this mesh should go next to it. Next, I'm going to do the same thing for this piece here, this side of the head. I want to drag it, and I want to position it. And that's really, so now I'm starting to get the feeling that uh, that's working out for me. Now I want to drag this here, and I'm going to hit uh, E on my keyboard and rotate this. Now I'm going to hit W on my keyboard to move it. And now I'm going to check to make sure that there's no gaps, but there is a gap here. Notice that? See these two? There's a gap right there. And if I, if I zoom in and I mouse over this, there's a gap right there. But we could see, so we could see what's going on. This piece is actually supposed to be in the middle here. Right, so now if I go to uh, select the edges, you can see that there's a nice clean flow between those edges. Right, we could see that th these edges are all supposed to line up. So I'm going to introduce you to the first UV tool, which is the Sew UV tool. Basically, this is a brush, right, that you're just going to, let me, uh, if, I, if I put this gray background behind, actually, oh, because I put the checkerboard. Uh, so you might be able to see slightly, it's hard to see against the gray background, that this is sort of a brush, and when I mouse over these parts, you see these red edges, they, uh, you know, they start to light up in red. Now, I can also hold down B, click and drag in either direction with the mouse, and this is going to resize my Sew so UV tool brush. Now, I'm just going to click, hold, and start dragging this along my mesh, and I'm just going to let Maya do most of the work. Now, one thing you want to be careful of is you don't want to make it so, so large and so it's not going to do that in this case, but when we start uh, putting it together, you don't want it to wrap around itself. Uh, that's not good. But for now, we'll just do that. We'll paint that like that. Next is the Optimize UV tool. I'm going to make this kind of large, and I'm just going to drag it across. What the Optimize UV tool does is it actually, um, so the Optimize UV tool is this one here. And what it does is it evens out the spacing between the different polygons. And now I'm going to jump back in. I'm going to jump off of this tool, go back to shell mode here, and I'm going to start, or edge mode actually, and I'm just going to start to see where I can position these things. So it looks like I want to position this on that side. So I'll do that as such. And then what I'll do here is I'll do the same sort of thing, look for where this can be placed. And I'll place this as such. So now I'll jump back in, continuing our workflow. Paint these together. Optimize UV tool to optimize them. And if you've ever seen a texture map for a head before, you'll notice that this looks uh, very similar. Uh, you know, we're starting the commercial. So there's the wrapping I was talking about before. But one cool thing you could do is when you usually if you use the Optimize UV tool, you could fix it like that. And now you could check if anything else is supposed to be merged together. That looks like uh, it could use a little more. Uh, that might have been a little too much. Okay. So now 
looks good. And now we're just going to continue uh, so manipulating. So the next step, I want to fill in this ear here. So I'm just going to come in and start selecting the shells that it looks like a part of the ear. I'll just drop one in. Notice I don't really care about the positioning. I'll just sew it up. Lower my, um, I want to lower the size of this brush. Right, and we'll just optimize that a little bit. Next, come in here. Okay, here's a big portion of this ear. Paint that together. Now that's looking a little wacky, so I'm just going to hit Control Z. Move that off really quick uh, until we get some of the other pieces in. We want to make sure that we're being consistent here. And uh, I'll continue this in the next tutorial.